Anthropologists believe that the use of equipments was an important step in the evolution of mankind. Greetings of the day. I am Shushil Diman from IHM Shimla. I am your facilitator for today's topic, food and beverage service equipments. So viewers, by the end of this session, you are going to learn about the introduction of equipments, which is present in food and beverage service department, reason why we use equipments and the importance of equipments. Uh, there is a certain selection criteria for the equipments, which should be considered while purchasing equipments for your organization. And what obviously there is a different category types of equipments are there. Uh, as such, there is a furniture, there is a linen, there is a cutlery, there is a crockery, glass wares, table, table wares, hollow wares, and there is another equipments as well. Uh, other equipments as such, you can say that bin mirror is there. There is a plate warmer. So there is a, a many kinds of equipments, other equipment. So we'll start with what equipments is actually. So. As you know, equipment is a very important aspect of any operation, any activity. So we can say that it, it is a necessary item for a particular purpose. Purpose as such, if I, I want to drink a water. So what obviously it requires a glass. Otherwise, I won't be able to drink water comfortably. As such, uh, these equipments play an important role everywhere. So in every task, we used to use uh, equipment in a various section. So as such, while we are going to achieve any objective, you must require a, a series of equipments. So if we go through why that equipment is important and what is the major role in our uh, food and beverage service department. So it is being uh, uh, used for various day-to-day -day operation or activities. It ensures that the smooth operationing of the outlets and what obviously any of the equipment will increase the efficiency. If you see that, if we take the example from uh, computers, so uh, computer can play an important role because of that it can do the work of 10 people. So similarly, it, it will increase the efficiency. So what is the major role of food and beverage service equipment? It is being used for day-to-day -day operation and the day-to-day -day activities which may, uh, may happen in restaurants, bar, banquet, in the various outlet of the food and beverage service department. And these equipment will be utilized, but obviously the smooth operationing of the outlet, it increase the efficiency. It's being used for uh, the various purpose. So that's why uh, the most of the time uh, we use the equipment uh, in our outlet. It gives a different look to the restaurant. It will be the standardization uh, for that outlet. It, it creates the brand value for the uh, hotels so, or, or a restaurants. So that's why these are the certain reasons. So we use the equipments. If we talk about the importance of equipments, so it is being used for the first impression to the guest. It is always a brand value to the outlet. It contributes to the sale and the success for the F&B outlet. Equipments is always a first impression because of that. While the guest touches the equipment, it gives the different fee. Because of that, guest is paying too much of money for that outlet for the food items guests will not get the right equipment uh, the standardized equipment the good quality of equipments so then what obviously the guest will feel bad and he might be thinking that he is wasting his money so if we move forward it is being used for the operational ease equipment is always used for the operational ease and it makes the work easy it makes the work easy for the guest as well as the stewards if we go through the point must be considered while purchasing equipment. So most of the time if a Japanese guest travels to your restaurant, so in that case you are going to keep chopsticks in your equipments list. So that is what is the type of guest expected. Next is the type of service of offered. In that case, which kind of service is being offered by the restaurant? For example, if it's buffet service, according to that, you will keep chef and dish and the buffet ladles, etc. in your outlets equipments. And in other case, if you are serving the Gordon service, in that case, you are going to keep Gordon trolley in your restaurants. Other case, if you are offering a silver service or fine dining services, in that case, you must require all the equipment as such cutlery, crockery, glasswares, and the hollow wares. Everything is required. It depends on according to the service offered. Next is the fund available. So it depends that 
how much fund you have and how much is the budget to buy a equipment according to that you are going to buy the equipment any of the organization any of the outlet will not uh, beyond the budget it every organization used to work according to the budget or the fund available next is the durability durability is very important while while we are going to buy anything in a market for example if we want to buy our clothes our shoes we see the durability similarly while we are going to buy equipments for our outlet definitely we are going to see the durability of the equipment so that is how we are going to buy next is the design and color while we are going to select the equipments for our outlet so what obviously we'll see the theme of our restaurants we'll see the decor of the restaurants we see the uh, we see the color combination of the uh, equipments uh, so that is how we are going to buy the equipments for our restaurants next is the maintenance maintenance is also important aspect because of that most of the time uh, people used to refuse that maintenance part but while they purchase the equipment they see that it takes too much of time to maintain these equipment so maintenance cost could be high so if that maintenance cost is very high so in that case they, these equipments will not work properly and this these kind of equipments will be the hectic for that particular outlet next is the replacement while you are going to purchase the equipment you must ensure that you should have that replacement for the equipment for example any equipment is not working any equipment is broken so in that case you should have that replacement otherwise inventory could not be maintained next is the storage you are going to buy only that much amount of equipments which can be stored properly otherwise there will be the misuse of the equipment most of the time equipments will be placed here and there and you won't have that proper storage for these equipment so then there could be a misuse of the equipment you must ensure that or you must buy only that much amount of the equipment where you can place it at a safe place uh, there should be a proper storage for that further is the category of fnb service equipment so there is a various category as such there is a table wares are there there is a crockery glassware is there and then there is a furniture uh, which includes your sofa chair table hostess desk all these things and there's a linen as well there is other equipments as well so these are the certain categories under the food and beverage service equipments if we go through the table wares so in table wares there is two category one is cutlery and there is a flatware so first of all you must know that what is the tableware and how it's been made up tableware are those equipment which is being placed on the cover setup so in that most of the time we use stainless steel equipments and either we use silverware silverware which is also known as epns electroplated nickel silver in which uh, the stainless steel item will be coated with the nickel silver so it looks like a silverware so that's why most of the time tableware includes flatware which refers to your spoon and forks in a uh, second category it's cutlery cutlery which includes your knives so in third there is a hollowware hollowware which includes your tea pots coffee pots water jugs sugar bowls on the dishes etc so if we go through the china ware or a crockery crockery is made up of silica soda ash and the china clay crockery has a different types as, as such there is a earthen ware there is a bone china proclain and there is a stone ware crockery is always a little delicate which can be broken easily so it requires a proper maintenance proper storage for that crockery while we talk about the crockery the types of crockery it includes the various equipments as such full plate half plate there could be a quarter plates uh, saucers there could be tea cups tea coffee cups etc if we go through the glassware glassware is uh, made up of a mixture of the various things as such sand soda ash limestone and the borax so if we go through the proper ratio what uh, is being included for making of glass is 75% of the sand 15% of the ash and 10% is the limestone is being utilized for making of the glass and it is being prepared in the degree of 1400 degree celsius to 1600 degree celsius temperature so next is the furniture furniture is also very important part of uh, restaurants because of that furniture are those equipment which creates a first, first impression to the guest furniture should be uh, uh, matched with your decorum of the restaurants plus it should be very much comfortable 
so while we talk about the furniture furniture is always made up of uh, either wood or metal and it can be the mixture of both so it depends on the theme design and structure of the restaurants so according to that you are going to choose the furniture for your outlet or a restaurants so uh, as i told you that furniture includes your table your chairs your hostess desk and sideboards etc so next is the linen linen is also one of the uh, important equipments or aspect of the restaurants because of that it should be neat and clean and crisp and you must know that in linen what kind of fabric we use so most of the time in restaurants we use cotton or a cotton blend nowadays uh, it's it's a new trend uh, in the market we use polyesters it's uh, mixed with cotton or half of the polyester is being used for making of the restaurant linen sometimes we use uh, the cotton and silk uh, mixture also so it should be compatible uh, or design and the atmosphere of the restaurant so that is how uh, you are going to select your linen for your uh, restaurant or outlet it should be matched with your theme or the decorum or the design of the restaurant so uh, that is how you are going to choose, choose the linen for your restaurant so it should be stored always in a right there should be a proper storage and very important it should be away from the moisture there should not be moisture otherwise your linen will get dirty or uh, it will be stinking and uh, what obviously the linen includes napkins which is also called as serviette in french and uh, it includes your table cloth it includes your slip cloth frills are there right and uh, uh, table cloths and these all these things are there in a linen so if we move forward for the other equipments so other equipments include plate warmer plate warmer is a equipment electrical equipment uh, in which we used to place the full plates full plates will be heat up and uh, uh, it will be used for serving hot food next is the food warmer food warmer is to keep the food warm most of the time this food warmer is being used in room service next is the vending machine uh, vending machine are those machine in which we put coin and we get the food item so these machine is being situated in uh, airports railways etc bain marie is a equipment which is a electrical equipment and it works on a double heating method in which we put water and the, through electrical rods uh, your water will be heat up and after that that heated water will heat up the food item and we keep the food item uh, hot for longer time period next is the juicer juice dispenser juice dispenser will be utilized for serving juice in a buffet and uh, next is a sideboard side sideboard is a very important equipment of uh, restaurants or bar or in any of the fnb outlet where we keep the all those uh, material or equipments which will be utilized very frequently so uh, that's why that sideboard is being kept inside the restaurant next is the ice cube machine ice cube machine is also very important equipment for any fnb outlet specifically for a bar because of that regularly we required ice cubes otherwise we have to take the ice cubes from the market which can be very costly if we keep that ice cube machine in our outlet so it can regular basis we can get the ice ice cubes very easily so for that reason uh, ice cube machine is very important and another one is the water cooler water cooler for uh, uh, those guests who want to, don't want to take a mineral water so for them there could be ro water or filtered water so for that there could be a water cooler used and from where we can fill up the jugs and it can be served on the table next is the tea coffee machine tea coffee machine is being utilized in most of the fnb outlet it is very important equipment which will be used for uh, the preparation of tea and coffee next equipment is trolleys trolleys we uh, use it in a different way there is a various types of trolleys in all the fnb outlets as such there is a flambe trolley there is a godown service trolley there is a room service trolley so all those trolleys is being utilized for the ease of operation and for the impression to the guest so that's why we utilize these trolleys so uh, we are going to discuss all these things in our next lecture so let's uh, recap today's se uh, session so we have learned today uh, introduction to the equipment and reason why we use that equipments are in our uh, outlets and the importance of equipments and the, the various selection criteria for uh, and the selection consideration for the equipments there are various categories of equipments we have discussed which includes furniture linen cutlery crockery glassware hollowware so that we have all discussed and we have discussed about uh, other equipments as well in continuation to this session in the next module 
will discuss these equipment in detail. Have a great day. Thank you.